Hi, this is Donna Singleton. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'd like to share this quick, cute daisy card with you. This was the free make and take, one of the free make and takes at my catalog launch party last weekend. So I thought before I put all the supplies away, I'll record a video, show you how to make it. Um, and you can make that at home. I will go through the list of supplies but I'll put them also below this video, a list below, and you can also visit my blog, donnascreativespace.com, to see the list. If you were, would like to purchase any of these supplies, please visit my Stampin' Up! website, donnasingleton.stampinup.net, and this is July's host code, 72GNB4TB. Any order of $50 or more will receive a free embellishment from me. Okay, so first thing we need is the Daisy Lane stamp set. We are using two Daisy Punches. This is the regular size Daisy Punch that exists in the catalog. It's on page 187 with all the other punches, if you'd like to look at it. And this happens to be on page 23. You can purchase the bundle, the stamp set, and the punch at 10% off together. Okay, one other stamp set I did use, one piece of it, was the Magical Mermaid stamp set. I grabbed the splatter out of it, because I like this splatter, I'm using it a lot lately. That's Magical Mermaid, and that is a current stamp set. Okay, as far as ink goes, I'm using Melon Mambo, I'm using Granny Apple Green, and I'm using Memento. One of the ways that this is a quick card is I'm using the Whisper White cards and envelopes, no cards and envelopes. So I have a note card and an envelope. I have a piece of scrap Whisper White. This is, happens to be three by seven. This is to stamp my daisies. I have a piece of Melon Mambo that is three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And I have a piece of Whisper White that is three by four and a half. Okay, let's start by stamping our daisies. In the Mellow Mambo, we want one large daisy and two medium-sized daisies. I'm just going to put these on here and stamp them straight up so that when I can use the punch, punch them out easy enough. We'll go ahead and punch those out. Line up the punch. And there's a large one. Now the medium sized punch, line up the daisies, punch, and one more, line it up, okay, get those out of the way, and one thing I forgot to tell you is you will need a package of glue dots. Okay, so let's set those aside. Now let's stamp our card base. We are going to take the memento and stamp the word smile in the bottom right corner. Okay, then we're going to take the garden green and stamp two of these pretty ferns. This doesn't have to be exact. We're just kind of putting a drop background for the daisies. Then I'm going to take the Malin Mambo again with the splatter, and I'm just going to put a couple splatters across. Just adds a little something to it. You could also pick up some ink on an aqua painter and tap it and splatter it on there too. That's another way. So. Now we're going to take the glue dots and our daisies and we're going to just put the first one down. Then we're going to take the second and third daisy and kind of put them a little off center. And the last one. Again, kind of you just want to put them off center a little. Uh, I can't remember. Did I tell you? this? We're using the gold faceted gems for the center. So I'm going to grab one of those. Put that right in the center. Okay? You can take your petals, kind of bend them up a little if you'd like. 
Then I'm just gonna put some snail adhesive around the sides. Put that on the melon mambo. Take our card base, fold that in half. More snail onto the card base. And voila, a nice quick card. Once again, if you're shopping with me in July, please use host code 72GNB4TB, and that's at www.donnasingleton.stampinup.net. Any orders of $50 or more will receive a free embellishment pack from me. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.